Hello, everybody. My name is Lauren Brin. I'm the Assistant Commissioner of the MIAA, and I'm super excited to be here today with Megan and Caitlin Pointkowski. How are you guys doing today? Hi, we're doing good today. Thanks for asking. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. I'm Megan. I'm a junior at Albion College. I am on the women's soccer team, and I am majoring in physics and math. And I'm Caitlin. I'm also a junior on the Albion women's soccer team, and I'm a double major in biochemistry and Spanish. Describe your time in the MIAA, like who are some of your favorite rivalries? Why do you like playing in the MIAA? Just, you know, things like that. Um, I think for us being in the MIA has been a great experience. Um, some of our favorite, one of our favorite rival rivalries is against Hope. Uh, it's just always a very high energy game for us. Um, and I think it's been really good for us going D3 because it's very, it's, we focus on like our after our academics and our experiences rather than having a complete focus on soccer. So it's it's been a really great um, time management for us in that department. And like our team in general, like we live with uh, four other teammates. So like we got super close like our freshman year and our coaches, Darius Ward and Eric Scott are amazing. Megan, um, you spent some time in the Navy Reserves last fall, spent two months in Chicago at the Great Lakes Naval Station, and then trained to become a corpsman at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio for four months. Tell me about your experience with that and, you know, just everything that you took away from that. Honestly, it was kind of crazy. I did not expect it. I mean, I expected it, but I wasn't expecting it to be as, like, isolated as it was. It was weird being away from Caitlin for so long and just having no contact, like I'm not used to that. I'm used to having like all my friends like available by phone all the time. So that was a huge change up for me. But I think it was a really good learning experience. I learned about a lot about teamwork and like perseverance. So you touched on, you know, being away from Caitlin. This was the first time that you guys didn't play soccer together, correct? Yeah. So what was that like for both of you to, you know, go for the first season, not being able to have that experience together? It was, it was tough for me to be at home, like watching. Um, and I just, I wish I was out there. I played with a few guys like on, um, at the base, uh, we all, me, the army and some of the guys from the Navy would all put some cleats on and play on the turf, but it's not the same. Yeah, it was, it was weird too. I mean, her and I have been together since we were 10 and started soccer I mean we've been on every single team together so just one season apart was crazy and then um we've also never been apart for more than 10 days so going from 10 days to six months was a really big change for us. Caitlin um you're double majoring in biochemistry and Spanish um you've logged hundreds of hours of research and hundreds of more hours as a certified nursing assistant uh you became a medical technician this past July and a certified EMT over the summer that's a lot um, talk about, you know, the research that you've been able to do and how you're able to balance being a double major and an athlete among, I'm sure, you know, trying to have a social life and doing other things outside of that. Yeah, no, uh, Meg and I have always been super busy and I find when I'm busiest is when I'm the most productive for some reason, where it's just easy for me to, um, work with this thing when I have a lot going on. So, um, I started my research my freshman year, uh, the official title titles, uh, direct evolution of a type of secretion system antibody targeting um, Xanthomonas arrhizae um, in rice blights. So um, I work with a, a, a peer on that and uh, he's been really great. And I, it's a uh, it's great learning about communication and having to time things in between our schedules. Um, and then, yeah, I became a certified a CNA uh, the summer before college. So I've been doing that for about three years. I absolutely love it. I mean, uh, the geriatrics are just, I mean, they're amazing. I, they're so sweet. And then uh, I was able to get a leadership role at the retirement home and became a med tech. So I pass medications and give insulin and check blood sugars and stuff. And um, I'll be like, like I'm in charge if there's a fall, like I'm in charge of commanding what to do. So that's been a great like leadership position for me, stepping up at the retirement home. And then, um, for EMT, I started that, <clears throat> sorry, my freshman year, I took the class and then I actually just got licensed this past summer and I'm currently actually going through the application process. So um, for me, there's like a division between, I do, I do my retirement home job when I'm at home and I do my research when I'm at school. 
And then EMT, I'm going to throw in there whenever I can in between those. Megan, before we started the interview, you mentioned that you're doing research as well. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I just started that with a professor here. We're doing ion implementation and increasing fluorescence um, using micro nanoparticles. I'm sorry, metal nanoparticles. I'm going to Western Michigan University a few times this semester to work on a particle accelerator there. And part of the research will also be conducted here at Albion. What, yeah. what do you do? What do you enjoy doing outside of all of that? Like, what are some of your favorite hobbies? Uh, for me, I really like to do art. I, I fill any classes I have extra with art classes. Um, I'm currently in a ceramics class right now and I absolutely love it. It's, it's been so fun. It's such a stress reliever. It doesn't even feel like class to me. It's just, it's been really fun. So for me, like other than hanging out with friends, I really just, I read a lot or I like going like outside in nature. Like, uh, we've got a nature center here that my friends and I will go walk down to the the river and go around. Yeah. I like to end each interview with kind of a fun question. So if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go right now? Um, I, I want to go to Spain really bad. I've always wanted to go to Spain. They have such cool architecture, plus me being a Spanish major, I'd like to use that. Um, I don't get to use that very often, but. I think I'd go to Iceland. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Well, thank you both for taking the time to speak with me and best of luck to you and your team this season. Thank Thanks you so much. Go Brits. <laughs>